Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I am on the hunt. I am on the hunt for a brand new popcorn bucket and sipper that were just released and they are so cute. So, I mean, I gotta have them. And then other than that, it is the Celebrate Soulfully celebration that Disney always puts on in February and there is special food. So I'm going to try and get some of those treats, some of that really tasty looking food. And yeah, maybe we'll get some other food too. I don't know. We're gonna just play it by ear. So come along with me, let's hang out and let's go inside of Disneyland. I always have to point out the monorail because when the monorail comes by, it is just a fun little treat. It's like, there you go. But the Disney 100 one is gone. So I'm a little bit sad. I'm gonna miss that beautiful holographic gleaming monorail. <laughs> But then also, okay, listen, it wouldn't be a video unless I point out the music. I just, it, you know, awkward silence coming from me, but I just love when I hear certain songs and this one, A+. plus. This one gets an A+, plus in my book. Okay, this one also. This one is also a bop. I truly enjoy it. Ooh, also the Winnie the Pooh song. That is also a bop or any of the classic Disney songs. To be honest, the, oh, okay, listen, I just, I really like the loop, but I wanted to point out, it is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful pre-spring day. And you know what we are going to be getting? Well, cross your fingers. I don't know if they're sold out, just so just cross your fingers for me, but we are going to be getting an Easter bucket, an Easter sipper, and it's Donald, Donald Duck, which I love him. So anyway, let's do this. And yeah, like I said, cross your fingers for me. As I was walking out of the Esplanade, I heard the Peter Pan You Can Fly song, which is also a bop, you know what I mean? I love the part that's like, think of Christmas, think of snow, think of sleigh bells, off you go. I just, it's, they're all kind of bops, aren't they? All the songs, well, some are a little bit lesser, so, but anyway, okay, I had to stop in front of the train station, mainly just because they have beautiful flowers out. They're pink and I love pink and I love spring and I love Mickey Mouse, so everything going on here is amazing. But let's go inside because I really want this Donald Sipper. He is dressed as an Easter egg. An Easter egg, amazing. <laughs> Square is looking very, very beautiful. Look at all these flowers. It's just like a river, a river of them. And it leads to the popcorn stand. Do you see that right over there? Okay, that's where we are going to get our wonderful new popcorn bucket. But I just can't help but notice that the flowers are looking gorgeous. Ooh, and you know what else? Because it's spring coming up soon, you know what that means? It is the season of baby ducks and I cannot wait. This is it, it's the Chippendale Spring Basket Bucket. We are going to be getting the Donald Sipper after this, but look at how cute they are. Also, look at how Disney Tokyo-esque this bucket is. You can kind of see it right over there, but we're gonna be getting it anyway, so no worries there. But I also wanna point out that they have the Joey Chu Disneyland Popcorn Bucket. This one is also really nice. I mean, look at how cool the design is. A plus, very, very good, but we're here for the very special spring one. And I also just want to mention that there is no line. So we are very happy. Also, I want to point out that it is the time of refurbishment. So look at that. Look at our city hall. <laughs> so here it is. This is our adorable Easter basket bucket. And it is so cute. So it definitely gives Tokyo Disney vibes, don't you think? But it's a very sweet and darling little piece. And it's a yellow plastic bucket with Easter eggs going around the edge. And I did check out the back. There is a wonderful blue bow back there. And then of course there's Chip and there's Dale and they're hanging out with the Easter eggs, having a good laugh, enjoying the time. And then even the strap is really, really cute. Okay, look, there's Chip and Dale and they are scattered amongst, see it says Disney parks right there. They are scattered amongst the Easter eggs. We love this, very adorable, and they're gonna have it until it sells out, but there was no line and they were plentiful. Oh, and then did I show you this part? This is how it opens. Yay, and then there's a spring inside, so be forewarned, this could cause a violent popcorn disaster if you were to, you know, open it too quickly or something. But either way, very, very cute. 
Ask me how I know about a popcorn disaster. Because I lost all of this popcorn to the ground, sadly. And now the ducks are gonna get it and the popcorn is not good for the ducks, you know? It makes me sad. But I'm also sad because I lost so much popcorn. And honestly, the best pieces of popcorn are always at the top, right when you walk away from the cart and you're like, using your tongue to eat, you know, that. Anyway, I am just hanging out here. It's very nice in Town Square. We have the Main Street vehicles going by. I just saw Goofy. That was a fun little moment. Lots of good flowers in my popcorn bucket. Actually, wait, you know what? I should go show this to Chip and Dale, but I don't see them anywhere. So sometimes they're kind of like wily. Like you can't find them. They're just meandering around on their own, but yay, cute little popcorn bucket. <laughs> Dale, I wanted to show you something. Look at what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, how does it feel to be, yes. Just like the Ewoks with C-3PO, you know? Oh, look, he has to show it. Oh yeah, it's like a purse, good job. Oh, we love it. We love it so much. <laughs> Thank you very much for appreciating this. Next time I'll have to get you one too. <laughs> oh, I think, I th oh no, oh no. Thank you, Dale, we love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 I have found new things. I have wandered inside of the Mad Hatter and I have found pizza ears. Very interestingly enough, these are part of the Disney Eats collection. You can see the little plaque on the side there and they are very, uh, well, there's a lot going on, okay? They are this gold vinyl right here and they have drippy cheese on the bow and little cutouts for the pepperoni and then even sequin pepperonis, including a Mickey one. We do like that. And on the back, plain. Plain on the back, but so much going on. Even the headband itself is made out of the same vinyl material. But wow, okay, these are $35. They're part of an entire Disney Eats collection that's gonna be coming out every single month. But yay, I, I feel conflicted about them. There's so much going on. Okay, let's just try them on. I mean, I feel like it would be really cute if you got a set, like the spirit jersey, and I don't know what other merch comes out with this like collection, but I think it would be cute as a set. And also, the other food items, like, I feel like that's gonna be very fun and cute. Let's see. There we, actually, okay, they're way cuter when you put them on. Don't you think? I, there's still a lot, but they are much cuter. And I especially like the little Mickey pepperoni in sequins. Kind of nice. They also restocked the belt ears for anybody that is looking for them. I did not get these the first time around, and now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, wait, I kind of need them, I think. I love them. And then also the Cinderella ones. They also have the Anna ears and the Snow White ears. I love all of them. And then they have the Evil Queen ones. What are you doing here? Are they coming out with other villain ones, maybe? Maybe. But yay, in case you're looking for them, they do have the belt ears back in stock. Well, 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 again, because I came inside of a Disney Clothiers and I found the entire Disney Eats collection, the pizza series. Okay, let's see. Here it is. You can see it in all of its glory. And look at that cheesy goo. And then the Mickey pepperoni is pretty cute. There's also a lounge fly. We will take a look at that. But then this is the back of it. The back is cute. And honestly, the ears grew on me. Once you put them on a head, you're like, wait, it's kind of adorable. And... I don't know, something is very fun about this. The spirit jersey itself is $80, I believe. They don't have the prices on them, but I'm gonna guess $80. But let's look at that really cute backpack because I kind of love it too. So here's the lounge fly and all the prices are being ripped off of the bag. So I'm going to guess that they are $88, but I like that they have this big pizza slice as the pocket in the front and then the pocket and the side pockets are all this like shiny vinyl. So it has a contrasting texture to the nice soft satin back here. Well, satin finish of the vegan leather and I like the repeating pizza pattern and the gooey cheese. The gooey cheese is just very, very fun in my opinion. And then the back, I like the coral, don't you? The coral color for the straps and everything. The back is just the same pattern, but let me take a look at the inside. The pattern on the inside is very much so the same as the outside, just with the very pretty coral color. Yes, 
Like I said, this collection is totally growing on me because of how silly it is, how irreverent, how fun. And pizza ears, you look so much better on the head. But I was looking at this sign because there are 12 months in this series and we're going to be getting 12 treats. And they all look really delicious and very, I can't wait to see like what the ears all look like. Like the hamburger, ridiculous. The donut is fun. The pretzel, ooh, with a little bit of mustard on it. And oh my gosh, I love the ice cream sandwich. And oh my God, the hot dog. The hot dog is a little Mickey-shaped hot dog. Okay, that is ridiculous. market house right now and it's also why I have the camera pointed so awkwardly because I'm in line right now the line is very long but I came here specifically because well first off I do want coffee also we are going to get food don't worry we're gonna get food but also I got a Starbucks been there mug the frozen one for Arendelle and this is a word to the wise so like a tip is whenever you buy any of the mugs here always 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 check it not just for like imperfections, but also for tiny cracks because mine had a paper thin. I'm talking paper thin, I couldn't even visually see it until I poured coffee in it at home and then it started dripping out from the bottom. What's going on? So anyway, I'm here to get coffee, but also to maybe look for another mug, but I'm already looking and I think it's sold out. <laughs> I'm inching closer and closer to where I can see if they actually have the frozen mug or not, but I thought I may as well show you the other tumblers that they have around here. Let's see. This one is very cute. It's pink. It is sparkly. It has a little bit of shimmer, white shimmer in the finish and holographic details on the print. And it says Disneyland and that's very cute. And Starbucks at the very top. Let's see. Oh wait, no price. I'm going to guess this is probably $24. And then this one is the same print, but it's on purple and it's a tumbler with a translucent purple straw and lid. Very cute. Ooh, price. No price. Okay, my guess is $30. The price is right. And then I see another one. Ooh, I've actually never seen this before. There's an Avengers one. Ooh, okay, this one is really cool. It is a black satin finish. And then it has glossy details like the Starbucks logo. And then the Avengers logo is glossy too. This one is really cool too. Okay, price is right, guess. 24, no, 29 actually. I guess that all of these are 29. Dang, absolutely no frozen mugs. They do have this Disneyland mug, which is not part of the Been There series. It's the Discovery series. And I do think this one is really cute, but it's no frozen mug it has ooh, it has kind of like a more matte-ish finish like it's satin finish but very cute and then the interior i think it's peach i've seen this before watch me struggle with one hand it is peach very pretty okay these mugs are 25 and then also can i just show you this i love the tote bags and i love these tote bags and they're just really fun i kind of wish the straps were not pink just my personal preference but let's see okay medium weight Print not thick, print very cute as well. <laughs> that is very, very fun. Okay, how much is the tote bag? $29.99 and it's actually pretty big. Ooh, and it has a little tag on the side. I bet it says Starbucks. Yes, it does. I have my drink, but I also am right next to the dentist office and I'm kind of terrified because I hear dental sounds and it sounds painful, even though it says painless. I don't believe that one bit and I am scared of it. Dentist in training, no thank you. But anyway, what did I get? Um, an iced hazelnut oat milk shaken espresso. And I haven't even tasted it yet, so let's see. Totally fine, very sweet, enjoyable, even though I got a little bit of ice in my mouth. Don't care for that bit at all and Yay! I mean, the best part of the course is the Disney Parks little cup. It's adorable. I also just want to say that, yes, 
they didn't have the frozen mug that I wanted, but that is just a testament to always check the mugs and anything before you leave, especially if you're traveling, because that would be devastating if you get home and you're like, wait a minute, this is no good. So maybe I'll just have to see if I can repair it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> fantasy land because I am in the search for food and I I just have to point this out because I looked up and I was like holy what the this is beautiful this is so gorgeous the sky is looking picture perfect with it's a small world don't you think it's stunning this is so beautiful and behind me Bert is leading the band right now it feels very very festive <laughs> but okay I am starving so let's go get food and Let's just like marvel at the sky for just a minute longer. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Truly, isn't this just so picture perfect? It's beautiful. I just, I am truly marveling at it. It's beautiful. So anyway, ooh, and we get the sounds of the train, but this is where we are headed. We are headed to the Fantasyland Theater area. And by the way, don't you think the sign is also just very adorable? Very adorable, but we are headed this way because this is where Troubadour Tavern is, and that is where the special food I want to get is. Very exciting. I have my food, and honestly, this looks way better, way better than I thought it was going to be because, I don't know, for some reason I just had a little bit of lower expectations. But that's okay. Anyway, over at Troubadour Tavern for two weekends only in February. They did this last year and they're doing it again this year. They're offering special Celebrate Soulfully food. And this in specific is the fried chicken bowl. And it has spicy honey glazed fried chicken. And it's served with four cheese, mac and cheese, smoked turkey collard greens, and sweet potato cornbread. And like I said, I am just like impressed. It looks delicious, and my friends also got it, and theirs also looked amazing. Mac and cheese in specific looks really deliciously cheesy, but I cut a piece of the chicken. I'm excited. Let's try this first. Okay, not bad. Chicken is not bad at all. For some reason, I was expecting it to be, like, not very good. So because my expectations were so low, Pretty tasty. The breading is nice and crispy, and then they put a little bit of honey drizzle on it, which sweetens it up, and it is delightful. And they did not skimp on the seasoning either, so it's not bland, but yum. Wait, okay, let me try a little bit of everything else. I want to get the mac and cheese specifically the most. Okay, the mac and cheese is great. The mac and cheese is really... Whoa! What's happening? Disney. I am really surprised. For Disney food, this is like really really good the cheese is super creamy and ooh, delicious and there's like it's like baked so you get little crispy bits yum let me try the collard greens and i love cornbread so i already feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna love that here collard greens are just okay for me mm, not my favorite that's the first thing that i actually don't love I don't love that, but also just because uh, my own, I don't think they're bad. I think it's just my own taste profile. They're a little bit too sour for me. A little bit too much of the vinegar. And out of everything, it's actually served, I don't know why, but it's served cold. Okay, let's try this. Get off of here. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. There is a bunch of sweet potato. Oh, I thought it was just a little topping. It's basically half sweet potato on the inside. Hmm, okay. I would have liked a little bit more cornbread going on, but the cornbread is nice and sweet, and it has a little bit of a glaze on the top, which also sweetens it up. But the sweet potato is really mushy, really, really mushy. Like, you can't even eat it. I can't even pick it up anymore. It's a fork food now, but the, you know, the sweet potato is a little bit overwhelming, but I still like it. I just wish it was more cornbread, but yum. I actually give this a very high rating. I don't think I would give it a 10 out of 10, but this delightful i very good one other thing so this is the sweet potato pie casserole and the description is that it's a sweet potato pecan pie and it looks pretty good i also just love marshmallows 
I, I adore them. So let me get a big bite. Oh, you can see the pecan right there and the marshmallow goodness. I was hoping to get like a marshmallow pull, but there was none. So let's see. I think that is delightful. It, that is really good. The only thing is that this definitely came from the fridge. Like it is cold to the touch at the bottom, but that is so good. And I can get a little bit of crunchy bits from the pecans and then the toasted marshmallows on top are delicious. Just like I said, I have a, an immense fondness for marshmallows, marshmallow fluff, anything like that. So to me, this is also very high ratings. Ooh, I am very impressed, as is the train. So like I said, I am on the hunt for the popcorn bucket and the sipper. And since I already have the popcorn bucket, the next stop is the Donald Sipper. Always save the best for last, am I right? But I am at Refreshment Corner because they always have the special sippers here. So let's pop inside and get a little drink because it is a sipper. So it comes with something to drink after all. And yes, I will have the complete set, both of them. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. I didn't realize that he has bunny ears on. He is adorable and we love him so much. There's also these other tumblers and sippers. Let me see, there's a little sign that shows them right here. So you can also get these while you're here at Refreshment Corner. Oh, also, I just wanna say, I got that chili cheese potato dog and it was real weird, uh, re real weird. Pepperoni Mickey shaped pretzel, decent. Not as bad as that weird chili cheese potato dog. But anyway, we are here for the sipper and we are going to get it. This is very exciting. This is the Donald Duck Easter Sipper and he is the Easter Bunny. Look at his little Easter ears, his bunny ears. And yes, he kind of looks like Igor from Frankenstein. That's fine. I've always thought that about him, kind of. Well, the Sipper version of him, but he has a little carrot in one hand and he has a basket full of Easter eggs and he's just so very sweet. And then you take the top off and that's the straw if you wanted to make him into an actual Sipper, but we don't do that with Donald because we're friends and I would not put a drink inside of him. And then this is the strap. Unfortunately, it's not as adorable as the Chip and Dale strap but it's still really cute. I like the yellow and the turquoise, how they complement each other, but very, very fun. And he is going to be added to my addition of, well, he's gonna be the new addition. I already have the candy corn Donald. I also have the Christmas tree Donald, and now I have the Easter Donald. I wonder what else is gonna come out. Have you ever seen a more perfect pair than Donald and I? We are best buddies, Easter Donald and I, and he is getting ready to deliver chocolate eggs to everyone. Maybe, not really. He's, you know, he's a grumpy duck. He's not gonna really be doing that. He's just enjoying all the Easter eggs for himself. But anyway, I love him. I think he is so silly, so cute, and I'm so glad that I have all three of the holiday Donalds now. But if I am being honest, let me cover his ears. There, now he can't hear me. If I'm being honest, Candy Corn Donald is the cutest, the original. He is the cutest one, but this one is not half bad either, okay. We love him. Since we're on the subject of Easter-like things, I just wanna show you these balloons are definitely all over the place, but there is an Easter balloon and ooh, there it is. Can you see how cute all the characters are? And I don't know if you could tell, but Donald is angry and he's upset. These balloons are so cute. I always want one. Look at it. Look at it right there. I always want one and then I'm like, no, I'm an adult. Why would I have a balloon? But why not? Am I right? I just, I think it would probably get annoying to carry around after a long time. But look, oh my gosh, the Easter one is just grade A, top, wow, wow. It's a, it's, it's a perfect balloon. <laughs> So change of scenery, change of topic, because we are no longer talking about Easter and cute buckets and Donald and also celebrates hopefully now we are talking about Lunar New Year. Look at this. Look at this, I don't even know, can you see? There you go. There it is. But yes, look at this amazingness. I have not even been to the Grand since Lunar New Year started. Granted, it's a very small, short festival, but look at it, behold. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? This is so impressive, so massive. And look at his brave and fearsome face. 
We love the dragon for Year of the Dragon. I wonder next year, gosh, what animal is it next year? I wonder what next year they will have here because this is the first time that they have done this. And check it out also, they have a performance going on. Very cool, very cool. I'm into this, I'm enjoying the music. I'm enjoying our brave dragon, our brave Californian, uh, Grand Californian dragon. <laughs> but. Ooh, you know what else? They do have the treat cart over there. Maybe we should go check it out, but yeah, I don't know. Vibes are good right now. Vibes are great. Wait, I just wanted to also say something, but before you ask, I just wanted to have this cool thing in the background. So I am at this awkward angle, but the thing that I was gonna tell you is that I wanted to do Lunar New Year because I really, 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 really want that strawberry Mickey macaron at least one more time before the festival is over. And I walked past and it was sold out and I was genuinely devastated. So sad, so sad, but look at him. This is bringing the spirits back up. Okay, it looks like slim pickings here at the little treat cart because, well, first of all, for Lunar New Year, they really only have these two items. Hmm, not the best, but they have a lot of Valentine's Day and I do love Valentine's Day. So, um, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I just don't know if I'm gonna get anything here. Look, they have cookie shots. Ooh, they also have this for Lunar New Year, that special cookie shot, but look at all the fun Valentine's Day ones. I love it. All is not lost, okay? We are not getting treats here. We're not getting any slim pickings treats, but I'm inside the gift shop that's in the lobby and they have these acorn ears. And I'm pretty sure that the gift shop is called Acorns Gifts and Goods, so it's appropriate, right? And look, on the back it says Disney Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, and there's acorns and some leaves, and they are by Loungefly, so they're $45. And I do like the applique going on for the leaves, and then I do like the felty looking acorns. They're silly, they're fun, and I mean, why not? You know, if you came to stay here, maybe you'd want to collect them just to enjoy. <laughs> Ah, oh, look who it is. It is Easter Egg Donald. Easter Bunny Donald or Easter Egg Donald? I don't know, but either way, I'm at Mortimer's Market in DCA and I just saw them hanging out and I was like, wait, I have to stop by and say hello. So hello. So I've circled back to the Lunar New Year Festival and I have immense success. I don't just have one cookie, I have two cookies. I feel cookie rich because I don't know, it's like the last weekend of the festival and they kept selling out of those cookies and they were making announcements. Like I've been in that line multiple times and they're like, we ran out of cookies and everybody kind of groans a little bit. Everyone is upset, but I am cookie rich and I could not be more excited. I can, I can eat an entire one of these by myself. It's the strawberry milk tea macaron. Anyway, it tastes like strawberry candy. It's delightful. Strawberry candy, strawberry ice cream. It's the most delicious thing. And then of course the macarons here. If you ever see a macaron on the menu at Disneyland, you should get it because they're always phenomenal. Just phenomenal. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this, this delicious thing. You can see a little bit of the milk tea center right there. It tastes like jasmine tea to me, but anyway, okay. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. I feel like I have a really good luck right now. I just have to show you a very important thing. As the absolute president of the Nuimo fan club, me, you know, I just, I love them so much. And yes, none of these, actually, no, okay, that one is new. He is new. And I don't know, there's also the turning red one. I don't see her around in stock, but I, I just like the classics. I like the animal ones. And look, Daisy and Donald, they are kissing. It's adorable. He is falling over just with joy and love. And then, I wanted to point out Pooh and Mickey because look at them. First off, Pooh has his little hand on Mickey's shoulder and then Mickey has the cutest look. I don't know, it has, it has like a Muppet look, you know? When the Muppets have their mouths closed, like there's something, something so endearing happening, going on. But I, like I said, I am like the, just the absolute president of the New Emo fan club and I love them. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've seen Crow O'Clock and it just happened and it happened wonderfully. I don't know if I would say that. I mean, it's always a little bit spooky when you see all of those crows. They just look a little bit scary. <laughs> and then also, I mean, we saw the moon. At least I saw the moon. It was 
glorious. The moon is always looking A plus, you know? You always gotta point out the moon when you see it, right? Maybe, I don't know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I had an amazing day today and I am so excited that they released the Donald zipper. I just, I'm sad that I didn't get to see Donald to show it to him because I feel like Donald would have loved that. But I also love the basket, the Chippendale basket. I mean, it's one of the cutest popcorn buckets that they have ever made. It is so cute, at least to me. I think it's just adorable. And the food was fantastic. I mean, it was really amazing. Oh, and you know what? We had amazing luck because I finally got that strawberry macaron and then I'm gonna bring one home, which is the best treat of all. And it's the very last day of the Lunar New Year Festival. So it just feels very lucky. Yay. Anyway, I hope you guys had a fun time coming along with me. I had an amazing time and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. So I will see you then. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>